What if I told you that the frustrating limitations of AI image generation are finally a thing of the past? ChatGPT just released its 4.0 model and the image quality is so dramatically improved, it feels like a completely different tool. Take a look at this image created with the old model. Not great, right? And now look at what the exact same prompt generated with the new 4.0 model. Unbelievable, right? In this video, I'll show you how to harness this power to create professional product mock-up photos, social media posts, and more. Prepare to be amazed. So just make sure that the 4.0 model is selected at the top left-hand corner of the screen. And then in the prompt box, you're gonna see three dots. Click on that, and then you're gonna select Create Image. And now you're ready to unleash your visual ideas. All right, so let's kick things off with a super practical example, professional product mock-up photos. We're gonna test how well the new 4.0 model can really capture those intricate details. All right, I'm gonna prompt ChatGPT with this. Create a visually striking artistic product mock-up of a delicate gold chain necklace with a vibrant teardrop shaped emerald pendant. I won't read the rest of the prompt, but that is the image that we're gonna be getting once we click this arrow. All right, so let's see what it comes up with. Wow, look at that. Look at how detailed it is. Look at the, the way that the light is hitting the emerald chain. It genuinely looks like a professional product Photoshop. The marble background really adds that touch of luxury and then the blurred background really makes the necklace pop. Beautiful. Now the light feels a little bit too harsh on the emerald. So let's see if we can use conversational language to actually adjust the lighting a little bit. So I'm gonna say, can you make the light on the emerald softer and more diffused? And let's see. And there you go, it adjusted the lighting just a little bit, made it a little bit more soft and diffused and did exactly what we wanted, so that's perfect. Imagine being able to create product images like this in minutes directly in ChatGPT. The time and cost savings are incredible. Now, if you ever find yourself staring at a blank prompt box wondering what to create, here's a little tip for you. Remember that ChatGPT is part of the broader OpenAI ecosystem. So if you head over to Sora's Explore page, you're gonna find a treasure trove of different pictures. And what's helpful about that is that the prompts are right below them. So you can actually see what prompt was used to generate the picture. It's literally like having a cheat sheet for creating amazing visuals. All right, so next up, we're gonna see how ChatGPT can take an existing product and put it into a realistic, beautiful setting, and then even add some compelling marketing text to it too. This is a fantastic way to create professional looking promotional materials for your website or social media without needing design expertise. All right, so I'm gonna upload a product in a really nice setting. And then I'm gonna upload a picture of a Shea Moisture shampoo bottle and see if it can actually put the Shea Moisture shampoo bottle into the really beautiful setting, okay? So my prompt is, as an expert photographer, replace the product on the left with the Shea Moisture shampoo on the right, but maintain the same style, set direction of the image and the left down to its crisp details and also add some copy to sell the image. Experience the natural goodness of Shea Moisture and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, this is impressive. ChatGPT has seamlessly swapped out the original product in with the Shea Moisture bottle and it matched the angle, the lighting and the aesthetic of the original picture really, really well. And it even added the marketing text above it nicely. And it captured the Shea Moisture text, the font that they use too, which is pretty cool. Now it didn't quite get all of the small text perfectly. And I think that that was because I didn't give it the best quality image and it probably couldn't make out those small fine details, but I think it did a really, really good job overall. And probably if I'd given it a better image, it would have done it pretty perfectly. So that's great. Think about how quickly you could create professional looking promotional images just like this. Now let's talk about creating those lifestyle images that really connect with your audience. Showing your product in a real world context can significantly increase your engagement. We'll test how well ChatGPT unders context by placing a leather bag in a bustling New York scene. Now I've given it an image of a really nice leather bag and here's the prompt. See the attached leather bag. I want a woman on the New York street on crosswalk wearing that purse. Side view, blurred image behind, cinematic shot, portrait ratio. Think of it as an advertisement for the bag and we'll see what it generated. Wow, isn't this absolutely stunning? Like look at the details on the purse and her face. Everything looks very realistic. 
and you've got the blur in the background, it really creates that cinematic high quality shot. Creating lifestyle shots like this used to require expensive photo shoots, but now you can do it in minutes with ChatGPT. All right, so for this next example, let's see how ChatGPT can help us create eye-catching social media graphics that stop the scroll. This is perfect for quickly promoting sales, events, or sharing valuable information with your audience. All right, so here's the prompt that I used generate a vibrant and, and engaging Instagram post announcing a 24 hour flash sale for a fitness brand. And then I give it a little bit more information. And then I ask for the logo to be included in the corner and a shot now button at the bottom. And then I give it this exact logo to include. Okay, so let's see what it generated. This is exactly the type of post that you need to stop the scroll on Instagram. The image is energetic, the text is clear and exciting, and there's a clear call to action right on there. And it captured the logo perfectly on the bottom right-hand corner of the image too. And the model looks super realistic to me. Like that doesn't look like an AI generated image to me. Creating graphics like this in seconds could be a game changer for your social media marketing. For this next example, let's quickly explore how we can use ChatGPT 4.0 to quickly visualize a website design concept for a wellness company. This can be incredibly helpful for brainstorming ideas, sharing mockups with clients, or even just getting a feel for for the website layout before diving into development. Now I've gotten AI's help in creating an image description for a wellness website. And this is really easy to do. You would use any large language model that you're comfortable with and just ask it for a description, tell exactly what the layout is that you want the website to have and ask it for an image description. So I've gone ahead and I've copied and pasted that image description right into ChatGPT and here it is. And this is what it came up with. This is a really good starting point. You can see how quickly ChatGPT generated a clean and modern looking website mockup based on our description. However, you're gonna notice that some of the words didn't quite get spelled correctly. Some of them are misspelled like wellness, this word at the bottom here, some of these words here. Some of the smaller text I noticed that it has some trouble with, but in general, the overall design looks really, really good. I find a lot of image generators typically struggle with text, but outside of that, it did a really decent job and it's a really good visual representation for the direction of this wellness company's website. Now for the last example, this one is super relevant for any YouTube creators watching, creating eye-catching thumbnail designs. We all know that a thumbnail is often the first thing that people see and can be the deciding factor in whether they click on your video or not. Let's see how ChatGPT can create a compelling thumbnail for a video just like this one. Okay, so what I've done here is I've given it an existing YouTube thumbnail that I had, and I've asked it to create an image of a YouTube thumbnail, take my picture from this attached thumbnail, and create a new background in an aesthetically pleasing home office. And you can leave the pose as is. So it's basically saying to it, hey, you can leave my pose the same, but change my background. And this is what it came up with. So you can see, it's kind of funny, right? It didn't get my face 100% right. It's got the pose, it has what I'm wearing, but the face doesn't quite look like me. I mean, it looks similar, but not not the same. So that's definitely a limitation, I would say, is it's it can't quite get the facial features yet. So then I thought, okay, how about I try and do like a before and after with the old model generated picture, the one that I showed in the beginning of this video, the ice cream cone, versus the new one on the thumbnail. So then I added another prompt to say, can you add these two before and after pictures? And it did a couple of iterations. And then I kind of prompted it a little bit more to add the before and after to the picture. And I ended up with this as kind of the end product. So it looks decent, right? Like there's, you know, it's got the before and the after, kind of how I was envisioning it. And it's got the chat GPT logo and 4.0. But of course, I don't look like I normally look. So I don't think we're there yet where we could actually have chat GPT fully do the complete thumbnail. But where I think it would be really helpful is in doing a background for your thumbnail. So you could create visualized backgrounds and then you can add your own image to the thumbnail after the fact. So I think it could still significantly increase your speed and your workflow in terms of how you design these things. But yeah, that's what it did. So not bad, but not perfect. Now, after hours and hours of playing with this image generator, here are a few tips and tricks that I've found to get exceptional results from ChatGPT 4.0. Number one is to be incredibly specific. So tell ChatGPT the color you want, the type of text, the style of the art that you want, the more information, the more specific that you can get, the more you're gonna get 
closer to what you want and what you're visualizing in your head. For example, instead of saying just sunset, say, you know, create a hyper realistic photo of a sunset with birds on the horizon, with reflections in the water in pastel tones. See the difference between those two? The more detail you give, the more AI can understand your vision. Number two is to break it down step by step, especially if you're trying to create something pretty complicated. You could start by prompting it for what you want the background of the image to look like. And then in a separate prompt, you can ask it to add certain objects to the foreground of the image. And then you could ask it in a separate prompt to add text to the image. So I took a very iterative approach when I was doing the YouTube thumbnail, same kind of concept, you know, first change the background, then add these pictures, then add the text at the bottom of the pictures before and after. So just breaking things down step by step is really effective. And number three is to channel your inner artist. So don't be afraid to mention specific art styles that you like. If you want something to look more like a Pixar design, say that. If you want it to look more Disney animated, say that. Or like anime, right? So that gives it a little bit more context and tells it the style that you're looking for. Let's take a step back for a moment and really think about what we've just seen. The ability to generate high quality product visuals, create compelling lifestyle imagery, and even high quality social media posts with just a few text prompts, this really changes everything. Think about companies that used to spend tons of money on marketing campaigns or hire graphic designers for sometimes straightforward tasks, or even subscribing to expensive design platforms. The accessibility and the quality that we're seeing with tools like ChatGPT have the ability to potentially reduce those costs significantly and save tons of time. Could this become a viable alternative to tools like Canva for many people? It's definitely a conversation that's starting to happen. Now I wanna hear from you guys. Are you guys excited to try the new ChatGPT image generator model? What kind of amazing visuals are you planning to create? Let me know in the comments below. Have you discovered any secret prompting tricks that you'd be willing to share? I'm always eager to learn. Now, if you wanna see more impressive ways that AI can help you in your workflow, then click this next video to see how Google AI Studios can become your new secret weapon.